to Miami. It is Isabella's uh, bachelor party weekend that I've been talking about for like all week. And we're finally here at this very bougie hotel. Side note, uh, David Dobrik is here somewhere and the vlog squad. So we're on a mission to find them this weekend. Oh sh the club is here, here. <laughs> oh shit. Did she say we could open them? I think maybe oh, yeah. later. <laughs> and we're also ready. We're matching. We're all wearing pink. This is the bride. We're at Sugar Factory. I'm like, tangled up over here. And you're like, Jillian, and I'm like, I can't. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, Guys, we're back from the pool. All we did was take a little dip. But now I'm about to head to the gym because I'm doing this 30 day challenge, which you guys will see in a few, in a few weeks. I'm staying dedicated for once though, and I'm so freaking sleepy. All I want to do is take a nap. You guys, I just had the best workout. Oh my god, oh my things are falling. There you go. I, I, I actually didn't have the best workout. I was like really hungry, about to pass out, so I had to stop for a salad at this bakery. And I saw Jason Nash like walking by, and there was like, a crowd of people, so I didn't say anything. But I also got recognized. Somebody came and said hi to me. Um, I'm gonna go shower. I feel so sweaty and gross. So, hold on. I gotta. I gotta get situated for this. My lip gloss is popping. My lip gloss is cool. All right. Um, you guys, <laughs> I 
This vlog took me like 0.2 seconds to edit because there isn't there wasn't much footage at all. Um, I planned on vlogging the whole weekend and I honestly, I should have known that I wasn't going to because this, I mean, I didn't expect it to be as crazy as it was, okay? You guys, buckle down, get a snack. I don't know. I don't even know how much I'm going to say in this part of the video, but this is a story time about how I died in Miami. I literally died. On this night so we got there Thursday night last Thursday we went to the sugar factory as you guys saw and then on Friday we all just went to the pool I need to fix this sorry okay we all just went to the pool and just chilled by the pool we drank a pina colada I went to the gym that day and none of us were eating well I don't think so I think that fact has a lot to do with what happened later that night so there's not gonna be footage of this because we didn't vlog actually somebody took a video but it's not pg like i can't post it i was butt ass naked you will find out why i need to get my thoughts in order what happened jesus christ my camera's running out of space Just... okay we're back <laughs> So Friday night, we all planned on going to this club called Live, which as you guys saw at the beginning of this video, it was right inside the hotel. It was right downstairs. We didn't have to take any Uber, so it was great. It was convenient. So what I didn't know about Miami is that there's people called promoters, like club promoters. They reach out to people on Instagram that are around Miami. They see them like tag locations and stuff and they reach out to them. They're like, hey, we can get you into this club for free. We can get you a table, blah, blah, blah. Which which the cover charge for this club was like $40 or something something crazy it's very bougie so we were like hell yeah I went with this guy this guy actually messaged me on Instagram they reach out to girls I know this sounds really sketchy if especially if you're not around like a big city it sounded sketchy to me because I, I had no idea this was a thing but anyway I knew we weren't gonna get into any vehicles with anybody it was right in the hotel I didn't tell this guy that we were staying at the hotel so Everything was cool, everything was fine. So we go downstairs that night, we get ready, we look super cute. Here's some Instagram stories that I posted of that night. Um, I looked good, girl. I mean, I was so excited, I never go out, you guys. This is like a brand new me. This is a whole different version of me. We get to the club, meet with the promoter, and he's super nice, he gets us in. And it's not only us, it's like a group of girls, which I expected, but I didn't expect it to be so many girls. That's how I knew it was like a common thing. There was like multiple promoters, so many tables. I don't think there was an actual dance floor. Like there was like a hallway in this club, but it was like filled with tables, filled with girls and bottles and alcohol everywhere. So we go to the table, it's up some stairs. We get there and they cram a bunch of girls into this little corner. And then they start serving alcohol, which is super watered down. So it all makes sense. By the way, the vlog squad was staying at the hotel and on this night that we went to the club, they were also at the club, but they got there like right after us. No, 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 no. The air conditioning is turning on. I'm so sorry, you guys. I, I tried to turn it off, but it's not turning off. Um, so this story has nothing to do with the vlog squad. I actually didn't see them the whole time. I only saw Jason Nash like 50,000 times. So they were there after we left the club but we're not there yet. So we get to the table and we settle down and we're super excited. We're like, oh my God, we got in for free. We got a table, we got free alcohol. But the music kind of sucks. I mean, we were all Hispanic, we were in Miami. I was expecting like Latin music that I could dance to. They weren't playing, they weren't playing good music. It was just, I don't know, for such a bougie like club, it wasn't like a dancing club. There was just people drinking, but you couldn't really dance to this music. They were playing like Justin Bieber. So one of the girls that was with us, she's actually Isabella's friend. That's how we met. Her name's Nicole. She's also my friend now and I love her. Her boyfriend was going to be at a different club. I believe it was called Racket and she was like, it's so much better than this we can go over there I'll get us a table like we all got a table and her boyfriend and his friends were gonna be there she said the music was better we could dance and so we were like yeah cuz we weren't filling this club and we were there for a good time a good time not a long time so we left we took an uber to this other club I think we were all pretty sober still at this point so we get to this club meet with her boyfriend and his friend so it's a group of guys and we're having so much fun and we got a table with vodka and we were all mixing our own drinks so i was making my drinks <sighs> pretty pretty strong honestly i don't remember drinking that much though i remember getting a drink when i got there and then we went to the dance floor and we started dancing and it was a lot more fun than the first club but then as we were dancing nicole was like hey you guys the guys are gonna drink our alcohol we got this table let's go finish our 
vodka, our bottle. We were all sharing it, so I didn't expect to get that drunk. But what do you know? These things happen, you guys. These things happen. I can't believe I'm talking about this on my channel. <laughs> so I start serving myself, like, straight up vodka. And at this point, I'm getting drunk very, very fast. I only had, like, three more drinks before I blacked out. So the next part of the story is going to be what people have told me. At this point, I was dancing with one of the guys. I don't know who. This guy was dancing with everybody. I'm not gonna name names, because I don't, I don't even know their names. I only know like two or three of the guys' names, but this specific guy was trying to dance with like most of the girls there, and he was like behind me, and I was like, okay, girl, like whatever, I'm drunk. But I, I still remember at this point, like this is when I was like starting to black out. I remember I was dancing with this guy, and then I like turned to my friend, and I was like, hey, like get me out of this. I remember he was wearing a white shirt. So there's like, there's two different guys in the story, okay? White shirt and black shirt, I think. So white shirt is trying to dance with me, but I see him dancing with everybody else and I'm like, no, this guy's creepy, get him away from me. So I'm like, I turn to Jaylene and I'm like, hey girl, like, get me out of this. And so she pulls me aside and then we start dancing, whatever. And then I don't know what happened after that. I see Isabella and we're dancing. I spilled a drink that was on the table and the guys got mad. I don't know why. This is the moment that I blacked out. I completely do not remember anything at this point or after this. So according to everybody else that was there, I was having a good time, okay? But I started getting too drunk. I guess I was stumbling. I, I guess I went to the bathroom and threw up. I don't I don't know, the stories like are all jumbled up in my head. Mind you, you guys, I've gotten drunk before. I've gotten pretty drunk before. I've never thrown up from drinking until this point. I'm 22 years old, so it's fine. For some reason, I feel like I'm way older and I'm like, I'm not supposed to be doing this. Maybe because I'm a mom, I don't know, but I'm just, I'm in my 20s, so. I start dancing with black shirt and black shirt is super cute super nice and then i guess he went somewhere and i started dancing with some other dude and he was like does she know that's not me i didn't know that wasn't him so when we got to the club it was like 1 30 a.m actually when we left the hotel it was 12 so we weren't out for very long because by 2 30 we were out of this club because i couldn't hang i don't remember leaving the club i I, from what I've been told, they had to get me into the Uber. And while we were in the Uber, I was sitting next to Nicole and Yahira, I believe. And I just threw up all over myself. By the way, that pink shirt that I was wearing that night, completely ruined. I just washed it with the black pants that I was wearing that night because they were in a bag together, smell, smelling like puke. I washed them together and the pink shirt is completely destroyed. And I'm so sad. So I threw up all over myself. I guess I started like convulsing and everybody thought I was gonna die. Apparently the girls started crying because I was like, like with my eyes closed, like throwing up and the Uber was like, hey, don't worry, I'm a medic. He pulled over and like checked my eyes. He was like, she's fine because they thought that I was drugged. And the next morning, honestly, I thought that I had been roofied. I honestly, t I, I still feel like I was cause I've never felt like that before, but I did have a lot to drink. So it was either, I was roofied or I had alcohol poisoning. So the Uber driver ended up pulling over, checking my eyes, and he went to a gas station and got some water, and everybody in the car started freaking out, and I passed out. I was gone, okay? I was dead awake. By the time we got to the hotel, the people at the hotel actually had to help get me out of the car and into a wheelchair. There's a picture of that that I'm not gonna put on the internet. <laughs> Ever. Isabella was actually pretty messed up too. I don't remember what happened with her honestly, but I was even more drunk than her and she she doesn't remember what happened. So you guys could imagine like it was bad. Like it was terrible. So they got me out of the car into this wheelchair and took me to the hotel room. Elle actually didn't go out that night, so because she had the baby, so she was a lot of help. She got me out of the wheelchair. And now she's strong because I was hella fucking dead. I couldn't lift myself up, I couldn't do anything, and I guess I kept throwing up when we were at the hotel. So she actually ended up like taking off all my clothes and putting me in the bathtub or in the shower. And this is where they started taking a video. That I know that sounds weird because I was like butt ass naked, but they were like, we never want you to get like this again. I've actually, I, I haven't seen that video. I don't want to see that video. But no, so she gave me a shower and the next morning I woke up in pajamas with my hair wet on the hotel room bed. And I was like, hold on, what? happened it was like a movie how did i get here why am i in pajamas and thank god that i'm here and not somewhere else and like i'm safe because i have the best friends in the world they made sure to take care of me and 
God, I feel so bad. So that's the story, or most of it. I mean, there's things that I haven't talked about and I'm not going to, but that's what happened, you guys. Don't drink. Don't drink, just don't, don't at all, because it's terrible. That day, Saturday, I spent it sleeping and like wanting to die. I thought that I had to go to the hospital that day. I was like, I can't do this, I can't do this. I woke up, I took like so many um, painkillers that day. I was dehydrated, I was hungry. I ate like twice that day. I woke up in the morning and they had ordered breakfast for me. So I ate that, drank some water, went back to sleep, woke up at like six o'clock in the afternoon shaking because I was so hungry. And I started throwing up later that day as well. It was the worst I have ever felt in my life. Do not recommend. Please know how to handle your alcohol. I feel like this has taught me an important lesson and it is to not drink like that ever again. I, I think that the reason I went so hard is because I don't ever go out. I'm like, I was so excited. I was like, yes. Yes, I'm finally out. I'm finally living my life. I Yeah, so that night we actually ended up going out again. I got myself feeling well again Somehow I didn't see it coming, but I actually had food later that night and I was like This is what I needed and I was feeling I was feeling okay So that night I actually didn't drink or I didn't drink much I drank a little so we got the same promoter to get us into another club Which was like the same one It was like the same deal as the first one that we went into with the crappy music I wasn't feeling it plus I was completely sober I had one one of those like watery drinks that they gave to us We ended up leaving there and going to the strip club <laughs> after that because it's a bachelorette party it would not be complete without the strip club i bought isabella a lap dance why do i sound like such a dork i'm just summarizing this night because honestly nothing much happened the next morning i mean i actually i didn't go to sleep saturday night didn't go to sleep till like seven in the morning and then sunday i had to drive back home so i was feeling terrible i actually had to go back to isabella's house to take a nap so that i could drive and i picked up mateo that day and everything went back to normal i've actually been trying to recover all week because i feel like i was still hung over for like four days after that and that was the time that i got wasted and blacked out threw up everywhere embarrassed myself but i learned a very important lesson and i know that i never want to feel like that again so thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to follow my instagram you guys can check out some of my highlights to see that weekend actually i should put everything in a highlight we've had a lot of fun but thank you so much for watching i love you guys i'll see you guys in my next video goodbye